coming to you today straight from the bathtub. Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Nanorun Monday, the part of the show every single Monday in the month of November where I talk about NaNoWriMo, or National Novel Writing Month, as you may not know. This week on NaNoWriMo Monday, we're going to be talking about the types of people that you find. There are only seven types, since we are totally into stereotyping and lumping perfectly unique people into big groups that may or may not actually be a fair representation of who they actually are. Science. First we have the rookie. I was one once. A ripe young 12 to 16 year old looking to break out of the realm of fan fiction and write my very first big girl novel. The urge to protect Dean Winchester has already slipped beneath your new skin. You do not recognize it, and yet it makes you frown. Concern is not an emotion you are unfamiliar with, but this irrational way of putting one thing before everything else is... Or not. Next we have the veterans. They are the heroes of National Novel Writing Month. They have been showing up every single day, every November for the last 200 years to crank out that 50,000 words. I tried urban fantasy for my seventh NaNoWriMo novel, but this year I'm going for more eclectic sci-fi slash political drama social commentary. I feel like it fits me more than I'd be on all the older. See, it's not a race anymore for me. Now it's just about getting quality words in. Next, we have the superhuman. These are the types of people who've got motors on their fingers, the kind of people who are somehow able to literally inhale caffeine and spit out a good story somehow with lots and lots of words. These are the types of people that hit between 50 and 100,000 words within an hour of the stroke of midnight on November 1st. What do you mean it's discouraging that I'm at 50k already? How is it bad for you that I got 200,000 words in the first two hours? There's nothing wrong with getting to 500,000 words by day three. Maybe if you were serious about National Novel Writing Month like I am, you would be at 500,000 words. They're hated by everyone. Next on our list, we have the professional. These are the kinds of people where writing is their day job and they do NaNoWriMo for the sole purpose of rubbing that in everyone's face. 2,000 words a day is no sweat for me. I mean, I pump out a new Amazon bestseller every month. The OCD, superstitious, do not mess with their pre-writing routine or their creative copy or their super sacred Spotify playlist. Just don't do it. Are you riding on the toilet? It's the only place I can be creative in this entire house. Leave me alone. This is the writing room. It's the throne of literature. This is where I do my word sprints, okay? Go. Now go away. Okay then. And next we have the nomad. These are the more spontaneous type of folk. They can write anywhere, anytime, with anything. They will do whatever it takes to get that story written. They will do whatever it takes to get that 50,000 words, even if it means writing at the dinner table, scratching the words into the napkin with a fork to be discreet. Even if it means carving them into a tree on their daily walk. Even if it means penning them on the stairs or in the elevator or in the parking lot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of NaNoWriMo Monday. You can find episodes one, two, and three of NaNoWriMo Monday right here in this proximity of the frame. Go ahead and check those out and give those the thumbs up. And as always, subscribe because I put out a new NaNoWriMo Monday video every single Monday in the month of November, as well as a new video every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys are all amazing. Thank you so much for watching. If you are doing NaNoWriMo this year, then post in the comments and let me know what your novel is about and any other unfair stereotypes that you've noticed in the National Novel Writing Month community. Alright, thank you guys so much. Peace out. Bye! I'm in a bath type. I'm in a bath type. I like to make videos in the bath type. And I forgot my tripod at home. So I get the wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly handheld camera. Follow me on Twitter.